If we talking looks, sound hooks, I'm the littest one. Just sent your wifey five attacks. So fresh and fresh and clean. I keep it viewed on that Don Julio. Cause I be eating weed. Yo, it's your boy Tyson. And I'm feeling good. Okay, but for real. Y'all, so I just had been in the pit for under fucking day. No. But no, for real. <clears throat> I, for this next episode, I just want to get like real candid with y'all. Like, and maybe I'll feel different about this in, in, in my, you know, later ages. Right now, I don't foresee this view changing. I just, I think most people suck, you know, and, and whether we're talking about, you know, men and misogyny and, you know, the way that society conditions them to, you know, overly emasculate with the whole, you know what I'm saying, rewarding, you know, it's the little hints that you get growing up, the oh boys will be boys mentality that although y'all may not mean to create abusers out of shit, saying shit like that and normalizing your son's rough, aggressive behaviors. That's what the impact usually is when that goes unchecked. And it's just, you just, boys will be boys every single thing that your son does. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know, a problem that I need parents to start really delving more into. Because especially within our community, black men roam freely. Walls out with the balls out. Black girls, on the other hand, y'all minimize them. Y'all bully them. Y'all laugh at them, make fun of them. Y'all talk about their features. Y'all talk about their hair textures. Like, this community does not deserve black daughters, for real. Like, dead ass, I didn't start really being on the fence about if I wanted kids until I started doing so, like, all this content. And then I really started seeing this community for what the fuck it is. But neither here nor there. Um, let me jump off my people real quick. Hey, I can take it to the non-black people. I've accepted that most non-black people are not going to respect, respect black people. And when I say that, I mean in totality. Um... They did most of them, and when I say most, I mean like the collective. You know, I, I, we may have allies here and there, but for instance, to me, the N word that's not that's not a that's not a debate for me and you. If you're non-black, if you feel entitled to say that word, you don't respect me as a black person. I've let you know that's my boundary. You can't disrespect my boundary on something that heavy of a topic, and think that you're still allowed to refer to yourself as an ally no you're not and all y'all trivializing this shit and you know what it's one thing when non-black people do it but black people like even if it doesn't bother you shut the fuck up you weak ass bitch you out here making us look weak as fuck and i don't care how that sounds if it don't bother your black ass, but it bothers mine, you should be on call with me. The fuck? Like, goddamn, no sense of unity. The, Br- Chad and Brad did they big one on us. I say that as a people. Oh, my God. The way y'all be so docile and fucking... And that's not to say that everything got to be... Because, you know, y'all love to pop off with your own people. Everything don't got to be pop off. I say what I feel. I keep it real. But have some self-respect for your damn self. Shit. The N-word is no different than soul food. We took scraps and made it our own shit it just so happens to be a controversial word because it's origin and because quiet as cap white people can't say it if we collectively as black people decided that white people we're not offended when they say the n-word they would have no problem with that shit y'all go on these fucking moralistic conversations why would you want to say that bitch mind your fucking business bitch that's another thing I've accepted. Collectively, yeah, we can make nice with some white people here and there, and we might have nice interactions, but they're never going to understand race in totality. There is no fucking such thing as reverse racism, baby. 
We can all be prejudiced, yes, but I can't oppress you, bitch, just because I don't like you. I cannot oppress you collectively. We don't have that power. We are literally the least powerful race, collectively speaking, as far as, you know, having any real push in, hell, society, collectively, hell. And just because Beyonce and Jay-Z is this bitch, that don't mean we all prospering, ho. But again, I, I don't expect the majority of non-black people to internalize that or to even think about it on that deep of a level. Hell, I can't even get my own people to stop being colorist <laughs> and featurist and texturist without telling us we making up words and, oh, it's a preference, it's a preference. Okay, it's a preference until a woman wants a nigga with some money and all of a sudden then y'all crying about classism, elitism, and crying that somebody a gold digger. Hey, you guys, if you would like to hear the rest of this podcast, please check me out on Anchor.fm, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other podcasting platforms. Thank you for listening.